Hi, welcome back to our video series on uh, developing a new boat model. This is video number five of I don't know how many we'll have, but uh, you're probably wondering uh, what happened to us. Did they finish the boat? Did they scrap it? Uh, no, we haven't scrapped it. We're still working on it. Uh, as you can see, here it is. We went on a hiatus for a while because we were actually building another boat much bigger than this one. So that one's done and we've actually started another one, same size, uh, but uh, we still got to get on with this. So we're, we're back on it and working on it. And uh, some things have uh, changed. Uh, we've got a new video camera, which we're using right now. It's HD and I also got a a little mic here so we're gonna have some better audio uh, so that's good and I also talked about getting a CNC machine which we did purchase it's uh, behind the camera we'll show you that later uh, so we've cut quite a bit of stuff using that I've learned I'm learning about it and getting better at it and it's really helping us out so let's get on to the boat here 235 Monero. So the last video we had, we were showing up front here. It's all done. We haven't touched that. Now we're working back here. So this is all new from the last video. This whole area. Uh, so a lot of this was made with the CNC machine. This whole section, this section. Uh, and some pieces inside we're, we're done with the CNC. Uh, let me show you some of these. They're not even attached yet. So this, this is one section that was done on our machine. Our machine only has a three inch vertical two, or actually I think it's two inch um, vertical travel. So what we did was we took a half, one and a half inch sheet of foam, one and a half inch thick. And I uh, sliced up my drawing, laid it out and cut it in slices and then stuck it all together. So I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five layers of foam here stuck all together. And then it's been, uh, finished with uh, tooling gel and sanded and shaped uh, to fine tune it. And then when we're ready, we'll paste it in place permanently. So that's one piece. We also did this one. I did this one first. This is one of my biggest projects initially with the machine but this is about 10 layers of foam and i stuck them all together with a dowel just to keep them in place you can't see them but there's a bunch of dowels in there to hold it together but they're all resin coated stuck together gelled and this one is also just about done prior to these two we did this area in here. So a lot of, uh, this is again foam in here and it's been a lot of shaping and finishing to get that shape. Uh, so that's the main things we've been doing. We've also got uh, a two dimensional piece on the inside which I cut on the CNC. I'm just taking pieces out of my drawing and uh, manipulating them and then cutting them on the machine. Okay, here we've uh, laminated two pieces of MDF half inch together to make uh, one inch thickness. And I'm gonna cut this on my CNC machine. So what I'm making is uh, the base for the transom doorway and there'll be a hatch that sits on this area. So it's gonna end up being a uh, a ring basically uh, that's going to be one inch high and one inch wide and it'll have a two degree taper all around so it can be pulled out of the mold 
I'll just show you where where that will be located. You can zoom in, and that's that's your transom doorway, and it's just the bottom of it. And then when this is cut, this will be stuck onto the base. So this is the the base for for the uh, the doorway. So we'll show you how this is cut on the CNC. Okay, here we are at our CNC machine. It's 10 by 5 feet in size, so I can cut one piece that's 10 feet by 5 feet. I haven't done that yet. It's usually 4 by 8 sheets. And here's my computer that I use to run the machine. So what we've got is a basic uh, PC here, set up with some drivers that drive the three axes. We've got X, Y, and Z. Here's a basic router that actually does the cutting. And then we have a dust collection system to collect the dust as it cuts. And this is my little dust guard that I made. It's all removable so I can change the tools. I'm just held on with a magnet. Here's the actual uh, motor. This motor is for the Z axis. So I can manually operate this machine with, with my keyboard here. So here I'm going in the, the X direction. Here's my Y. And here's my Z. So I use four programs to do my work on the machine. The first two is for drawing. I use one program to draw my two-dimensional parts. I use another drawing for my three-dimensional. So the boat is drawn in 3D. So I'll take sections off of that drawing and manipulate them to do my cutting on here. And because the machine only does a couple of inches, I have to slice my drawings up, lay it out nicely on a four by eight sheet uh, to do the cuts and then put them together. So, okay, those, that's two programs. The third program is to set up the drawing to do the cutting. So it tells what, you know, how fast to cut and where to cut, how deep to cut, that kind of thing. And you tell it what size bit you have so it'll know how much to offset from the line. So I import my drawing into this other program and set it up. So the last program is on this machine. So I just have the one program on this machine and it actually tells the machine what to do. So it'll say, yes, go this far in the X direction and then plunge and cut. So it, the third program creates the code and you take that file and you just put it in here and you open it up. So I'll, you probably can't see it, but I've opened it up. Here's my part that I laminated. I have stapled it down so it doesn't move. It's got to be secure. And so my next procedure is to set the zeros. So I want to set my X, Y, and Z zero. So I'll just move to where I want it. And I usually put it right in the corner. So I'll just eyeball it. Okay, so that X is good. Okay, Y is good. So I'll click the zero X and Y buttons. Now I gotta set my my Z. 
So I'll just move in a bit. And I go down. I just usually put a piece of paper underneath till it's locked in there. Yeah, so it's it's locked in there. So that's good. There's my zero. Take the paper up. And now we're ready to run it. So I started cutting and I screwed up a bit, uh, gouged it out, fixed it. Uh, it's just the way I had set it up. I just, I made an error in one of my inputs. So it's fixed. Now let's run the program and hopefully it'll work this time. Okay, here we are. It's all cut out now and filled in the, the error. And we'll just sand it smooth and uh, put some gel coat on it. So, and then it's going to be mounted on this platform. And this will go right about here. So this is your uh, transom doorway. And then this will be open for access and that's where the batteries are going to go. So there'll be a, a hatch lid that goes over top of this. So the next step is uh, we're going to make the sides for this doorway and put this whole thing together. All these pieces have to be mounted and then we can finalize the filling and sanding uh, in the curved combing there. We've got the back piece here that's cut and that needs to be all fit. Uh, and then we'll put the transom doorway in and then the top. And that, that just about completes the whole exterior of the boat. And then we'll start working uh, on the interior. So stay tuned for the next video. I don't know when it's gonna be, but hopefully sooner than later. <laughs>